name is Maron Mengistu. I am 21 years old and I go to U of T Scarborough campus. I am a beginner in makeup and I hope to be able to acquire a lot of um, experiences and to be able to up my game. Okay, so I've been experimenting a lot with Fenty Beauty. One of the first purchases I got was the Fenty Beauty lip gloss. I find that I wear this almost every time I put on makeup because it's so convenient. And also the color of it is right for my lips. I find that other lip glosses are very light and very light pink and it just doesn't work for me. So that's definitely a really good one. Another good one is the Fenty Beauty foundation. I found something that's close enough to my uh, to my skin complexion and I use that almost every day one because it's light two because the undertones work for me and three because it was actually very inexpensive for me uh, when Fenty came out I had some trouble with that as well because I had to go through five different matches or different people trying to match my skin complexion and even then it was hard so I believe that kind of gap or that inconsistency in finding that right color for me motivated or stopped motivating me to actually go and attempt to find what's good. So my personality and the way I conduct myself as well as my style is very laid back and I try to show that through my use of makeup. I like a lot of simple stuff like mascara, a little bit of concealer now and um, my eyebrows. So. I like to cater to that. Uh, actually, one of the big things that are hindering me from doing more is the fact that I genuinely don't know how to do makeup. And that problem goes back to the fact that I'm unable to get a lot of these products because they don't cater to my skin complexion. Um, I find that my hair is very dry and it needs a lot of moisture. I also find that it needs a lot of oils and stuff and that can't be found really in drugstore products. Um, I used to be very reliant on kind of like the Aussies and the L'Oreal's and this that but I realized it's been stripping my hair away from the nutrients that it's needed because of all the alcohol. Uh, so I've been going to the beauty supply store to find a lot of that stuff that cater to my hair and I've been finding that it's really really effective. One thing though that makes it hard for me to stay consistent with those supplies is the fact that it's very expensive. Uh, so yeah, that's also one big issue because even though this, the demand is there and su the supply is there, it's, it's still, there's still that gap. One of the biggest things as well is there's only one beauty supply store in Pickering because I'm a Durham resident and there's literally a Walmart two minutes away and sometimes when I just want to take a shower and then work on my essay, it's so much more convenient to go to the two minute Walmart, buy an Aussie that's two dollars, then drive 15 minutes to Scarborough to a beauty supply store and pay almost triple that for something that works for my hair. So accessibility is definitely one of the things that are hindering me from healthy hair. Spending more on uh, accessibility, for example in Walmart, um, in Pickering, I saw a little subsection for black women hair and all they catered to was gels and it lacked a lot of the leave-in conditioners that I needed and the sulfate-free shampoos that are needed. So that was very unfortunate. I also noticed in another Walmart in Scarborough, it catered a lot more to our hair texture and our everything like that. So I just noticed a gap in that. On top of that, even in the beauty, even the beauty supply store in Pickering was very limited in the sense that they weren't able to stock up on the color that I wanted in my concealer. That just showed that the demand is there, but the supply necessarily isn't.